Hi everyone, I am Kostup Sharma, AWS Certified Solution Architect and Developer, your multi-cloud DevOps guy. In this video, we are going to talk about a master stroke service from AWS, which will help us in the management of our workloads across our multi-cloud environment. Thanks for all your response and support on the previous video. If you haven't checked out my previous videos, please go out and check them. I have videos on Kubernetes, AWS, Azure, or GCP, Terraform, and other cloud and DevOps topics. So AWS has now extended the ability of IAM with the release of a new feature named IAM Roles Anywhere. And in this video series, we are going to discuss what is IAM Roles Anywhere, what are the common use cases of it, what are the scenarios where you can use this service, and we will also going to understand the working principle of IAM roles anywhere through an example scenario where we are going to practically implement them. IAM roles anywhere as the name itself clearly suggested will implement your IAM roles on your workloads which can be anywhere even if your workloads are running outside of AWS. We can use IAM roles anywhere for on-premises servers, containers, applications, or Kubernetes workloads or any other compute services running outside AWS like it can be on Azure or on GCP. It just want to obtain your uh, AWS credential. This will remove the need for creating and managing long term AWS credential making our system more secure. Let me give you a one minute overview of IAM roles so you can understand the IAM roles anywhere better. So, if you want to access AWS services and resources from your application, we need to pass the valid AWS credential to our application so that they can make API requests to AWS. For workloads running on AWS, we do this by associating an IAM role with the compute platform service, whether it's an AWS EC2, ECS, or it can be EKS or Amazon Lambda resources depending on where your application is hosted. IAM role supplies temporary credential to the application that it can use to make AWS API calls, making it more secure and convenient for us to use as we don't have to waste our time and resources to distribute, store, and rotate the AWS credential for application running on AWS. Similarly, IAM roles anywhere works. It extends the capability of IAM roles to access AWS APIs securely even from the workloads outside of AWS in the same manner in which we use IAM roles for workloads on AWS. With IAM roles anywhere, we can deliver short-term credentials to our on-premises servers, containers, or any other compute platforms on Azure, GCP, or anywhere else. This use case of IAM roles anywhere to vent short-term credentials to workloads outside of AWS will help us to remove the need for long-term AWS access key and secrets, which will help us to improve security and remove the overall operational overhead of managing and rotating the long-term credentials. This will also help us to provide a consistent experience for managing credentials across our multi-cloud workloads. So now let's talk about the common use cases of IAM roles anywhere. So it can be used to backup on-premises data or any other data from Azure or GCP to Amazon Simple Storage Service or S3. It can also be used to provide access to native AWS services such as AWS database services like Amazon DynamoDB or messaging queue services like Amazon SQS that is simple queue service from your workloads of Kubernetes which can be on on-premises, Azure, GCP or any other cloud service provider. We can also use it to access secrets stored in the AWS Secret Manager from workloads outside AWS or to send our security findings from on-premises sources to AWS Security Hub. This will also help cloud agnostic clients to enable their workloads across multiple cloud service providers to access AWS services over the course of phased migrations. That's all in this video. See you guys in the next video where we are going to discuss the practical implementation of IAM roles anywhere. So make sure to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so you will be notified of the next video. If you have learned anything new in this video, then make sure to like this video. See you guys in the next video. Till then, take care.